in this video right here, I'm gonna break down how to overcome as a face-to-face -face agent. When you go and knock that door and the lead says, for example, Betty Andrews is 78 years old, but a grown man, that's not Betty, Betty answers the door. What do you do? This is what I do. This is what, this is what we train agents to do as well. So it sounds kind of like this. Hey, is Miss Betty available? The person will probably say no. Oh, no worries. I looked down the lead paper and I said, Miss Betty Andrews requested information from our department. I was told to stop by and drop it off to her. Is she available right now? and they still say no, I say, got it, no worries. Like it says, sir, I'm an agent here in Ohio. Miss Betty requested information. I was just told to stop by and drop it off to her. Wouldn't be a better time to stop by and come see her. The person will usually say tomorrow or this evening or tomorrow morning. Whichever time frame they give me, I will say, got it, Thank you so much. I will stop by then. You have a great day. And I'll walk away. It's as simple as that. The reason why we don't want to tell the person that's not the lead, it's about insurance or is anything like that. Because first of all, Miss Betty, in this example here, may not want that person to know they're getting insurance. <laughs> as simple as that. Like it's, it's client confidentiality. It's not my job to tell her business to her family and loved ones. And then two, as an agent, typically you want to get a yes or a no from the client themselves, not some random person that answers the door. So the reason why in that example there, I did not mention anything about insurance, coverage, sales, Department of Insurance. I get a broad explanation to figure out when can I stop by again next to see Ms. Betty and talk to her and then close on the deal.